All right, we're back to this guy again. Not sure what happened to that last video, but I heard a beep, beep, beep. I assumed that was the charger on the GoPro. So we're back to the regular camera and we'll just continue on with that while the GoPro charges up. We're on video number eight and we're gonna try to remove some more of this stuff in between. I'll switch to a smaller U-gouge. So just a small U-gouge. And it's just gonna help me get in there and get some of this stuff out of here so that I can remove a lot of that stuff in there and give me some room to to do what I need to do because I've got to separate the body and the feet I've got to put a, a little bit of definition in here so we're gonna get our little skinny knife in there and just kind of round that body all I'm gonna do is just try to remove some of this wood here that's kind of in the way for what we want to do and allow me to get down here and once we clean it all up, then we can get that body rounded, get some of that shape to it that we want. Again, we're trying to keep these videos to about 10 minutes because YouTube likes it when your videos are under 15. So let's just keep it at around number 10. I've got my timer set over here so we'll know where we're at. But all we're doing is trying to round and get that Let me zoom in here a little bit more so you can see where I'm at we're just trying to round everything to that body get rid of these stray little marks like we have here that we don't want and then we'll start to separate the feet from the body we'll do the same thing over here where we're just going up under here and rounding behind that bow tie that he has and we're just going to sorry I didn't realize I was getting off camera there just going to remove that stuff right up under the right up under the bow tie and this stuff right in here number of tools we could use for that I got a knife handy so that's what I'm going to use I'll do that I'll you also use it let me switch to a fishtail gouge so I can get in here. I've got a cut line right here that I want to get rid of right there. I don't know if you can see that very well. That cut line right there. See that cut line right across? I want to get rid of that line right there. So I'm just going to take off a little bit of wood each time I go across, each time I make a pass there. We'll get rid of some of that wood every single time. It's going to widen things out. It's going to give us an opportunity to get in there and then we can come back in and clean a little bit of these things up right in here it's funny i see a lot of carvers that do that they pick up their carving and blow it off like that i have a friend of mine that says he was in a carving competition at a show and they said one of the big rules was you can't blow anything off your carving and once you did that then you were disqualified and they said within about 15 minutes without even thinking about it most of the carvers were disqualified because they went on their carving to blow away chips. And so it was kind of a funny illustration of how many times and how often and how many people do that, how often we do it. And the purpose of it is just to blow the chips out of the way. Well, what other choice do you have sometimes on blowing that stuff away? You don't. So anyway, got it mostly cleaned out in there. Got a couple of stray little chips in there we'll take off. Now I'm gonna put my finger protector back on. I don't like working without it. So I'm gonna go back to just shaping these feet. What I want them to do is kind of slant in. So if you put your feet out, you don't have your feet straight out like that. Sometimes you have them a little bit in. And so we'll trim these down a little bit, making them Let's switch to a bigger knife. I'm seeming like I'm working myself to death. Just kind of, kind of flatten and round them. So flatten them this way, but round them toward the edge, so that they sort of look like they've got a shape to them. We'll do the same thing over here.
And we'll just get that shape in there so they look kind of like feet. I'll draw back in the toes. Again, we're only worrying about three toes, making it, making it a caricature kind of thing. And all I'm going to do with the with the V tool is go right up in there and, and gouge out some toes out of there. See that? What I also want to do is then go across the top of it. So I'm going to go straight across the top. Straight across the top so I get those toes marked in. So you should be able to see them right there. They come up and they go straight across. And that's what we're going to work on. Work on doing that to the other side. Go straight up fairly deep and go straight across straight up and straight across and then what we'll do is we'll shape those things because what we want is for them to be kind of pointed from the middle hope you can see that from the camera I apologize if you can I'm still still learning about this videotaping thing but anyway I'm going to make a stop cut there and I'll make a stop cut to it I'm way off camera and I apologize and so that gives me some toes see that toe in there we'll do the same thing here we'll take a V tool in, or a cut in there and then a cut in there we'll take that chip out as well we've got toes what we want to do behind it, we'll take that out a little bit more so it makes it round this way. And we'll do that same thing over here. Just a cut in there, cut in there, a cut in there, a cut in there, a cut on the outside, a cut on the outside, a cut on the outside here. And a cut on the inside there. Okay. The other thing I want to do is separate these toes from the body right in here. And so I'm just going to make a stop cut down. So that sort of separates the toes. I'll switch to a skinnier knife to get in here. And I'll take that out. And it separates those feet from the body. See how they're separated out there from the body. I'll do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to make a stock cut in there straight down at an angle and then come in and take that out. And that's going to give me some room to go in and clean up these little toes back here because they look fairly straight and flat. So we're going to do those just like that. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out where the middle of this camera should be. Bear with me, folks. I'm getting better as we work at it. You'll have these flat parts right across the top of the toes you want to take care of. I'm just going to V-cut right up there. Or not V-cut. Make a V-cut with our knife. Don't want to switch tools right now. Clean out in between those toes and shape that toe a little bit more. Let's do that other side. Take a little bit more out behind it. All right, we're at nine minutes and 31 seconds. I'm going to cut this off at 10 minutes. Please feel free to make comments if you need to. If I'm not doing it well enough for you, you can't see. I'm learning this as long as you are, just as well as you are. So let me know if you have any suggestions, and I'll try to incorporate some of those things. Some of you may make suggestions that I can't do. 
but I'll do the best I can to accommodate you because this is to help you as a new carver or you as a beginner carver or you as a carver who's never done anything like this and wants to do that. So if you've got suggestions on how I can help you or even suggestions for projects, I'll be glad to take into account those th projects you want to do or that you might want to see. I may not do it because it might not be the thing that I do. I do a lot of cowboys and things like that. I sold a number of things at a show that I did this year and uh, I got a, some comments at that show of things people wanted to see for sale and so I'm going to try to do some of those and so I'll be busy with different carvings along the little through the year and, uh, and I may not have time to get to what you want but I'll do my best to do that because this is giving back to the carvers who have helped me out and giving back to the general public and making sure that they have an opportunity to have a good time with carving so I'm going to sign off at this one. We're almost 11 minutes, and we'll call this one good, and I'll see you at video number 9, and we'll see you then.